Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Wear Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Uh, it's Veterans Day today, and uh, of course, I'd like to. Uh, this is a tribute to the veterans for me out there. And boy, that song gives me goosebumps and makes my hair stand on end every time. Well, let's uh, move on from here. And uh, I'm, I believe the markets are open in New York. I think banks are closed and such. And hold on, let me turn up the volume there. It looks like it's replaying. Uh, and with the uh, start of the show right there with, with uh, taps uh, done at the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, um, I'd like to remind people out there, as uh, Thomas Sowell has said here, the Constitution cannot protect us unless we protect the Constitution. This is absolutely true. Uh, okay, let me move into spot prices, which I'm very, very pleased to see that, uh, you know, we're still up. Uh, it's not the end of the week yet, though. And I still expect we all do. It's kind of like a, a, a child that's, you know, an, an abused child to some degree. <laughs> you know, things are too good. Things are too good. You're waiting for a hand to come out and smack you right across the head. Uh, but it hasn't happened yet. I mean, metals are up right now. Again, let me do a refresh. I think I just did, but got care. Yeah, okay. Um, let's talk about overnight ranges. We'll look at the charts here, and we'll see when the act activity is happening and if you've been watching my show you know this already uh, currently 1862.40 uh, a lower 1843 overnight 81 and a high of 1866.36 wow gold is the performer I believe gold is bringing up the uh, price of silver and everything else I think gold is a catalyst for the price of silver being up and uh, boy those silver shorts have got to be hurting right now I think they did everything they could to kind of tamp back the prices yesterday afternoon as you notice in the afternoon spot silver prices fell so did the spot gold prices I think they they uh, <laughs> I think they used every round in the revolver right there to try to knock the prices down a little bit today but not much much avail again let's look at the overnight charts when we're done with this here uh 2462 the low 2522 the high currently sitting at 2508 up 42 cents pretty impressive uh platinum nearing that again nearing that 1100 mark so for you folks out there, out there that have owned platinum you've got to be pleased to see this uh and to my silver stackers out there as i said you got to watch gold guys you got to watch the price of gold even if you don't uh uh, own much of it and you don't really care much about it gold will bring up the price of silver and in my opinion that's kind of what we're seeing right now uh, Ted Butler believes that there's a giant whale out there that got in just the right time uh, I also think that uh, uh, a lot of that old school money is starting to ride back into gold they're going to be getting out of the equities markets the bond markets bonds are going to get hammered treasuries uh, oddly enough the dollar index it was up yesterday but maybe that's not so odd when people are afraid of markets uh, especially the stock and bond market I mean it's trillions and trillions quad I don't even know maybe even quadrant who the hell knows trillions of dollars in equities bonds stocks 401ks retirement all that stuff trillions all it takes is a tiny bit of I mean I really literally a tiny bit of money to move out of those markets into gold and silver and gold and silver just skyrocket folks okay so just a fraction of that uh, uh, money going into gold and silver will cause it to skyrocket so uh, I believe we're starting to see little bits and pieces of that money starting to flow into precious metals as a uh, safe haven. And really, it seems like they're demanding physical. The ETFs, uh, uh, you know, the, the ETF outflows seem to be, uh, people seem to be converting, the big players seem to be converting their SLV ETFs into uh, physical. Uh, and there's a couple reasons they do that. My understanding is once they, they don't have to report it as well, it kind of re can remain a hidden trade. Uh, it, whereas if they sell SLV, they'd have to report it. So uh, kind of interesting things going on out there. Let's take a look at the 24 hour chart here. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick refresh. And of course, when is this activity happening here, folks? Take a look. Um, it looks like we had, well, this is kind of encouraging here, overnight markets. Uh, I haven't seen this in a little while. Uh, November 11th, this is overnight, last night's markets when the, after New York closed. And of course, let's take a look at New York yesterday, all right? Um, 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 there goes my ums again. I've got to cut out those ums. <laughs> uh, let's see here and, and replace them with ahs. <laughs> um, there we go. There's a, a, a yesterday right there. And as you see in the morning, look at the uh, price explosion and go. I mean, it literally exploded to the upside, almost hitting that 1870 mark at one point. Uh, and then monkey hammered down. Uh, again, I believe this is the uh, shorts trying to protect their positions and trying to uh, uh, push that price down so they're not hemorrhaging so much money. 
And uh, opening up this morning, uh, or last night after uh, New York's close, you'll start to see that uh, uh, it was kind of sideways early on, but it looks like in the evenings, uh, it was at the Hong Kong market, is it at the Globex market? I'm not quite sure. I'd have to take a look, but I'm not going to do that right now. But either uh, New York Globex or Hong Kong, I believe, uh, you start to see the price rise up again. There's another $10, $15 move right there. And uh, here we are, New York open, uh, and a little bit down. Uh, maybe that could have been London right there. Again, I'm not sure, London or Globex, but uh, the open here in New York, same thing. Look at there, 8 o'clock or 8.20 or so, and we're up on the open, that choppy activity. I'm curious to see what happens the rest of the day with the price of gold. And silver is doing basically the same thing. Let me do a quick uh, refresh on this screen here, and uh, let's take a look. There is uh, yesterday, there's a price explosion on silver. Again, the monkey hammering down. I, I believe these are the short positions and the uh, people uh, uh, that were tending to lose a lot of money if this rally sustains. But I think we're going to see this rally sustain unless they just openly, blatantly run it down tomorrow, uh, Friday, or uh, uh, Sunday night. I'm betting probably on Sunday night. This seems to, they seem to have good success in the overnight markets, probably New York Globex, where nobody else trades it, thinly traded market, and where they'll dump a bunch of gold and silver on Sunday night. But maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know if that's th that'll still work for them. Uh, no less, uh, take a look. Again, all the activity, the major activity happening in New York in the morning and ending before noontime, uh, except for the last couple days. Uh, the trend has been it ends at noon time and then it flat lines until New York the next day. That's been a trend for a month or more. Uh, but recently it seems to uh, have been creeping up or <laughs> as it did uh, yesterday. Again, this is monkey hammering right now. Uh, I believe that the, uh, 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 you know, the positions that are in so, you know, the, the, the uh, commercial bankers and uh, uh, the other uh, investors out there, large institutional investors and small, uh, probably were looking at yesterday's, the last couple days, uh, up markets and going, wow, if this is sustained, uh, we're in big trouble. So this is probably a result of uh, them monkey hammering these markets down because, you know, this could hurt them quite a bit, these uh, the big short positions in silver, you know, if, if we start to see a $30 run. However, again, as a abused child <laughs> might feel like, I can't help but feel that hand is going to come and smack me across the back of the head when I least expect it. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you folks that have been following silver for a long time feel that same way as well, that we'll see a monkey hammering. We're almost certain to see it. But was this it yesterday? And were, are they able, you know, if, if this is the kind of monkey hammering they're, they, they can do right now and it's not sustainable, uh, maybe the, their uh, power position uh, with those shorts are, are, are kind of over. But, you know, I doubt it. I just doubt it. Like I said, I'm waiting for that hand to smack me in the back of the head. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, I just wanted to say this uh, one more time. I couldn't say it enough times. I had an account with them for over 10 years, man. They threw me off for, um, I don't even want to say it. It's just bad stuff, and it's not even me. Uh, really, they just tossed me off for uh, a differing opinion. Isn't that kind of sad? Um, and what, you know, what, the kind of, it's Veterans Day. And, we're t and I'm talking about the Constitution because uh, veterans, their, their job is to protect the Constitution, not protect uh, Washington, D.C., not protect the city of New York, not to protect, I mean, it is, but their primary responsibility of the U.S. military is to protect the Constitution. And kind of why I'm off on my little rant about this kind of stuff right here and about this kind of stuff right here and about uh, uh, deplatforming people and about this kind of stuff right here. Uh, it just kind of sickens me, you know what I mean? What, what, did, what did these, uh, what, 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 you know, th these young men that went to war for all these years uh, f because of the military industrial complex making money and the rich making money, the elite making money, Washington, D.C. making money. Wars are good business, of course. Uh, however, it doesn't take away from the fact that a lot of young people and a lot of uh, uh, family people, mothers and fathers and grandfathers, you name it, uncles, um, lost their lives uh, 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 protecting the Constitution. At least they thought they were protecting the Constitution. Uh, again, don't want to digress too far from precious metals, but how does this play with precious metals? Well, you know, if they can 
violate your rights from one way or another, if they can violate your rights, folks, uh, <laughs> taking away your gold or your silver or your wealth or your money or your land or your property, or, you know, is nothing at that point. It's nothing. It's, it's the next step. It's, uh, it's whatever they want. So allowing your Constitution to be trashed and stepped on and allowing, whether it's from government or corporations, is just uh, unfathomable to me. Uh, at some point, there's got to be some major pushback because, again, first they'll come, you know, they come in for your Constitution rights, they come for your rights first, and then they'll take everything else away, including your gold and silver. Uh, again, that's just my opinion. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, ZHC, if there's anything here about precious metals. Hey, great up market. If I could just end the show showing you this, uh, that makes me smile right there. So, and as it, well, like I said, uh, gosh, it just kind of keeps climbing. Let's see. Let's see if it kind of tapers off around. Uh, let's see if the price tapers off around noontime. I suspect maybe we'll see higher markets and we'll see that smackdown again. Uh, I think that the uh, short positions are going to get pretty much hammered here, and uh, they're going to be out of ammo pretty soon if they're not out of ammo already. Well, you know, never underestimate the, the, the power of people that have an unlimited printed pre printing press behind them, uh, or people that can borrow unlimited amount of money uh, for super cheap. Uh, that's kind of <clears throat> that's what you see with the commercial banks and the people that short gold and silver, the people that manipulate gold and silver and platinum. Uh, uh, they've got so much cheap money, they can go and monkey hammer any market they pretty much want. And uh, boy, is that right? I don't think that's right either. Boy, today's really a day about justice, I kind of think, in my, in my mind. And the people that died for uh, uh, justice. Uh, just remember the uh, beginning uh, opening of the, my video right here and the playing of taps, all right? Uh, let's, again, let's take a look and see. That's just a shame right there. Wow. Um, shame on, shame on the, again, let me just pu push that up. That's my opinion, okay? Um, Z pushes Biden into political catch-22 with invitation to Winter Olympics. Uh, kind of interesting politics being played here. Um, let's, 22 Olympics, uh, mm, well, anyways, <laughs> uh, that's just sad. That's just sad as well right there because uh, uh, they deserve it. Uh, DD shares jump. I'm not too much in precious metals markets out here. Um, UK vaccine, man, uh, that's sad as well. More sad stuff. Interesting thing with uh, Tesla yesterday, uh, and uh, apparently he sold $5 billion of uh, his shares. And a, uh, what was the speculation? The speculation is he did it to pay, uh, uh, to pay tax bills and pay those kind of things. And I think his brother sold some. Uh, no less, you know, Elon has his own uh, cult, his own fan club. Uh, Elon can do no wrong. I personally really like the guy uh, a lot, and uh, I respect him for what he's done, but uh, I don't view him as uh, the, the holy one. I mean, he does have uh, holy money, so <laughs> and I guess you can pretend you're holy when you're, you know, or you can uh, act like it uh, when you got that kind of money. But, uh, uh, you know, he says one, don't, you know, don't uh, do as I say, do as, you know, don't do as I do, do as I say, that kind of deal. That's, that's Elon, uh, and he is the... Let me, Elon is the P.T. Barnum of, uh, of our day, of our modern times. He really is. He's the P.T. Barnum of his uh, Tesla and his other stuff. He's a great showman. Uh, just, he may not think he is, but he's a great showman, and uh, he's got charisma, and uh, he's got a huge following out there. You know, if he says something, people follow it. Uh, so, and of course, you know, people, a oh, billionaire, man, you know, uh, uh, Elon's going to lead me to be, be a billionaire, but let me ask you, well, he has made some people rich with his stock and with his bonds and stuff, so, you know, can't take that away from him, but he is a man, he puts his pants on like we all do, he has his faults as well. Um, I tend to view things and people, like I tend to view uh, Elon Musk for what he really is. He's an uh, intelligent man, but is he a godlike uh, person? Is he a person that you should listen to and believe everything he says? Is he infallible? No, not at all. Um, so, uh, you know, I see things for what they are. Just like I, I got a little ragged out about uh, cryptos yesterday. People saying, oh man, you, should, you, know, you shouldn't have ragged out on cryptos. But uh, as I said yesterday, I don't hate cryptos. I don't hate the crypto market. I just understand it for what it is. Just like I understand Mr. Musk for who he is. Uh, and I respect that, okay? Uh, but, you know, it doesn't, doesn't work for me sometimes. Or, or Well, the cryptos does. All right, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Let's kind of move along and see precious metals, precious metals. That's what we're looking for. Uh, I'm going to go over best deals, and uh, well, <laughs> gosh, it's just, you, you remember, uh, what is it, uh, I'm going to look this up here. I, I feel like when I'm reading these headlines, uh, hmm, that's a shame, 
Uh, I feel like when I'm reading these headlines, I'm uh, uh, living in a different world. And uh, anybody remember, let me kind of type this in here. Anybody remember, uh, what is it? Uh, bizarro world. Uh, let's see, I always like that. Bizarro world. I feel like I'm living in this world right now. <sighs> bizarro world. Yeah, there we go. Right there, bizarro world. Far out in space, there exists the goofiest planet in the entire world, in the universe. The square bizarro world. Ooh, flat Earth, kind of. Four flats. Uh, it is the home planet of the pathetic, stupid, bizarro creatures who are in perfect duplicates of Superman and his friends. <laughs> Uh, this is the world. I, somehow I feel like I woke up. Uh, I was in, you know, regular Superman, regular Earth. I was on planet Earth, you know, Constitution. People actually cared about it. Um, that, all that kind of stuff. People, you know, everyone got along, even if they disrespected someone. Else. Not disrespect, even if you didn't agree with someone's opinion, you get along with them. You don't try to deplatform them, force them out of the system, make them go away, or, uh, or jail them for what they think. Uh, and I, for some reason, I, I was on that planet. And I feel like I'm on this planet right now, the uh, bizarro, far out uh, world, home of the pathetic, stupid creatures. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm on a roll today again as well. But uh, let's kind of, uh, uh, oh, did that, did that. Um, Again, not too much here. Let me not read anything more about uh, <laughs> cryptos. <laughs> don't get me started. Uh, and again, don't hate them. I just understand them for what they are, which is really nothing. Um, let's see here. Uh, Biz Gold swaps fell. This is kind of interesting here. Uh, uh, Fed Chairman and JPM Chief met privately September 30th, and weird stuff followed. Well, you know, you know me. I always like if something says weird stuff, I'm going to read it. So there's weird stuff right there. Let's take a read on this real quick. Uh, it's by Pam and Russ Martins, Wall Street on Parade. Uh, according to Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's daily appointment calendar, he met privately with Jamie. Uh, I like to call him Demon, <laughs> and his uh, devils, uh, his uh, illicit devils. Well, the chairman of CEO of JPM uh, Morgan Chase from 3 to 3.30 on September 30th. JPM Chase is the largest bank in the United States. It is supervised badly, uh, so they say, by the Federal Reserve. Well, I guess that's true. Just how bad is that supervision? Uh, JPM Morgan Chase is the only U.S. bank to have been charged by, this is, this is interesting, and I really didn't think about it from this standpoint, folks, but think, think about this for a second, this statement that I'm going to read right here. And don't tell me you didn't think you woke up in a bizarre world. JPM Morgan Chase is the only U.S. bank to have been charged by the Justice Department with five felony counts since 2014, admitting to all of them. Remember what I said, too big to fail, too big to jail? All right, let's take a read for the rest of this. But despite that unfathomable number of felony counts under the same chairman and CEO, the board of J.P. Morgan Chase didn't sack De a Demon. The Federal Reserve didn't order J.P. Morgan Chase board to sack Demon either, not even after the bank was charged with rigging the U.S. Treasury market last year, the market that allows U.S. government to pay bills. I'm going to take a sip of coffee here, folks. Give me one sec. Hmm. Instead, what the Fed has done throughout this unprecedented era of felony charges against the nation's largest bank is to give J.P. and Morgan Chase a no-bid contract to be the custodian of all of the agency's mortgage-backed securities that the Fed has been buying up since 2009. So not only did J.P. and Morgan take on four felonies and admitted to rigging markets, including the U.S. Treasury market last year, the market that allows our government to pay bills, the Fed gave JPM Morgan a no-bid contract to be the custodian of all agency mortgage-backed securities that the Fed has been buying since 2009. Now, folks, if this ain't fucking bizarre world, I don't know what is, all right? Uh, things are grossly wrong in D.C. Things are grossly wrong with our, our financial system, and holy smokes. Uh, but no less, um, uh, man, uh, <laughs> Uh, given this background, it looks spurious for Fed Chairman to be having a private meeting with Demon. Why? Why would it be? Uh, well, it looks spurious, but it doesn't matter because these guys are uh, too big to uh, fail and too big to jail. You know, uh, J.P. Morgan is. Now, what do you think about the Fed? Those guys are too big to jail for sure. All right. 
Uh, no doubt, they could do what they want. They're like uh, walking gods. Or, you know, they, they don't have to explain anything to anyone, not even uh, uh, God himself. They don't have to explain uh, anything to a president, anything to the uh, uh, UN, anything to uh, UN. I don't know where I got that from, but uh, you know, world councils, governments, they're, they're not answerable to anybody. They can do what the fuck they want, and they do. Uh, the meeting occurred on the same day that Powell gave testimony in person before the House Financial Services Committee in the Rayburn House office building in Washington. So it's likely, although not given that that demon traveled to Washington from uh, New York to meet with Powell. Jamie Demon, that bastard, crooked bastards, made billions of dollars on the backs of uh, uh, people rigging treasury markets, rigging silver markets, rigging gold markets. Too big to fail, too big to jail, and they appear to be uh, the, uh, 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 Oh, man, they appear to be working for the Fed, obviously. It's pretty obvious. And the fact that, that these people actually get, uh, get elected, like, think about it. Uh, who's the Federal Reserve Chairman? Uh, what's her name? Uh, gosh, my brain's going to shit now, getting old. <laughs> um, uh, Yellen. Yellen worked for the Fed. Now who she's working for? She's working in government. These people are crooked. Our government has, is, is invaded by corporate... Uh, 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 Man, corporate, what am I going to call them? Uh, corporate dictators. These are not capitalistic uh, companies. These are crony capitalist companies. These are crony corporations, folks. Um, and uh, uh, that includes the Federal Reserve. It's a crony corporation. And they deal with other crony corporations and other crony bankers, all right? Uh, and they're making a fortune off everyone else's misery. That's what all this inflation is about. You should be really pissed. Uh, and these are the people that run the world. They run governments, not, not the uh, puppets we call presidents. Uh, these people run the world. And uh, here, I'm sorry, let me go on here. The, given this background, it's spurious uh, uh, for Chairman Fed Chow to be having a private meeting with Demon. The meeting occurred on the same day that Powell gave testimony in person before the House Financial Service Committee in the Rayburn office building in Washington. So it is likely, although not given, that Demon traveled to Washington from New York to meet with Powell. Exactly what was so important about this meeting it had to be in person instead of a phone call. Think about this. These two gentlemen had to get together. They couldn't do it on a phone call, email, uh, even on face-to-face uh, -face on the computer with whatever that uh, Zoomy thing is or whatever people use. Um, <laughs> So they had to talk face. This is like this is what mobsters do, folks. Mobsters have to talk face and face and go take a walk around the lake and make sure no one's listening to them. This is exactly what these two gentlemen are doing. What the fuck? What world did I come into? We are living in bizarro world, folks. Well, I'm going to move out of there and move into uh, the WSS. Hey, listen, it's one of the sites I like to look at every day. I just kind of like to look at what people are stacking and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, I post my videos out there as well. And uh, I really appreciate the moders moderators and the members out there that uh, allow me to post my videos and have it deplatforming. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I think some, a lot of them like it. The majority of the people out there seem to enjoy my videos. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, not everybody agrees with me. But remember, you'll never learn something from somebody you, you agree with all the time, all right? Sometimes you learn things from people you, you, you vehemently disagree with. You really do. Uh, you either learn something that you didn't know or, or found out something you thought you knew was not true, or it, people like that will also, smart people that disagree with, will, with you will force you to go out and, and spend time reinforcing, well, that's not a good thing to do, uh, spend time to see if you are right, so you end up doing more research. Uh, and if you got an open mind and you are wrong, you'll admit it. Uh, but anyways, I digress. I don't know how I got into that. Wall Street, silver. Uh, let's see what's going on out there. Uh, there is your, this is kind of true with Wall Street silver guys. Uh, when prices go up, <laughs> they're like this. When prices go down, they're like this. As I said, I've been saying for months, the enthusiasm is off the hook here. I like the enthusiasm on uh, Wall Street silver for sure. Uh, and the press and the publicity that it creates. And the, they talk about it with each other. Uh, and it seems to be a growing group as well. Um, not quite sure. That looks like a gold, a gold coin almost, a little bit of copper must be the picture. Uh, keep stacking. And uh, I wonder what they're paying for that. Okay, anyways, not too much to uh, talk about out here. I could just kind of go on from each page and discuss each post on here, but we're not going to do that. Um, you can do that by yourself. Just sign up for Wall Street Silver and uh, scroll down the page and uh, contribute yourself. Make your own con contributions in there. A uh, lot to learn as well. 
Uh, best deals, I'm going to go into best deals, going to do this super quick. It's the same as yesterday. The best deals are anything generic, one ounce, 10 ounce, 100 ounce bars. You know, I offer, you know, I'm a local brick and mortar. I don't sell to uh, people through the mail. So if you're listening to me right now, you say, I'd love to deal with this guy. Unfortunately, if you don't live in South Florida, you can't come and visit me. Because uh, again, we're only a face-to-face -face bullion dealer. We don't do the online stuff. Uh, we can't help you. Uh, however, I do advertise to be at Max JM SD Bullion. Uh, they're the three biggest out there, I believe, and I can beat their prices, and I can also give you uh, good advice, personal face-to-face -face advice, um, and help you in a lot of other things that they're not able to do. Um, my expenses are a lot lower than them, too. That's why I can beat their prices. My recommendation, if you don't live in my immediate area, find yourself a good local dealer yourself. Ask them if they can beat the prices of one of the big three, and, uh, um, you know, and uh, deal local. Keep that money local if you can. Once you ship your money out of state, your state's screwed, man. Keep that money in your town, uh, at least in your state. Uh, best deals, again, 100-ounce, 10-ounce, 1-ounce bars. Uh, we have them in stock. Uh, getting a little tougher to get some of that material as well. Uh, let's move into uh, gold, same thing. Best deal out there is one ounce gold bars. Seems like uh, Balcombies and Perths are available. And uh, uh, next to that, I would say, uh, uh, what's a better deal after that? Maples are gonna probably go up because I think the, the uh, Canadian Mint just said they're uh, not shipping any more stuff out. So you're gonna probably see delays in uh, maple products uh, and a rise in price in those. Uh, right now, truthfully, I think gold bars are the best deal. I know they're not sexy, but it's gold. Who cares if it's shaped like a square moon, star, or uh, a blob, you know what I mean? As long as it's made by a good company. Uh, and who cares if there's a denomination of a dollar or fifty dollars on it? You're learning how worthless a fifty dollar bill is anyway, <laughs> or or fifty dollars in Canadian is anyway. So who cares if it's a coin or not? Just buy a good legit product. Uh, and again, the best deals out there are certainly one ounce bars. Uh, worst deals still include stay away from any numismatic U.S. twenty dollar gold pieces. They're way overpriced. If you're a collector, fine, buy one. If you're not, avoid them like the plague. You're not stacking gold. You're stacking collectability and premium there. Uh, uh, and there's not much collectability to coins that were, you know, where they made over a million of these things, uh, 03s or 07s and that kind of thing. Uh, so stay away from that unless you are a coin collector. If you're a coin collector, then uh, uh, it's cool. I mean, you're do you know, but again, you probably wouldn't buy a bunch of those. You'd buy a set, different dates. Uh, stay away from Eagles right now. They're still overpriced. And uh, I, again, I don't think maples are a great deal and KRs are delayed right now. So uh, bars seem to be the best deal unless you can pick up Britannia's uh, for uh, a little bit uh, closer price. Uh, well, silver, again, silver eagles, you know, I, I think the reason that I don't get as many thumbs up on my videos uh, on Wall Street Silver and others is because I, I've been saying that uh, there's a terrible deal and they really are a terrible deal. I love the product and it's just a terrible deal. If you're buying, you know, if you're paying premiums for Silver Eagles, you know, you're paying over five bucks an ounce, and I believe they're close to 10 to 13 over right now. Uh, that's just ridiculous, folks. Don't pay that kind of money. Buy the generic stuff. Stack bars, stack uh, uh, generic silver made by well, you know, bought, purchased from uh, good companies uh, so you know it's real and uh, uh, made by uh, uh, recognizable uh, makers, you know, people that uh, the industry people recognize. That's my recommendation. The price on these are just freaking insane. Uh, so avoid them unless, unless you're collecting them by date. Uh, don't stack these right now. I'll let you know when the price gets reasonable. I really will. In fact, you can sell your silver eagles and probably convert them into uh, you could probably sell 100, 200, 500 silver eagles and convert it into, uh, say, let's just say 500 silver eagles. I bet you, bet you, you could probably convert 500 silver eagles into 510 ounces or 520 or more ounces of, gosh, even more, wow. Um, you could put more silver in your pocket by doing a trade with your local dealer, and I'm sure he would trade with you, put more silver in your pocket, and he's still going to make money, okay? Uh, good deal to go out and trade. If you got silver eagles right now, in fact, I'm advising you to trade them for generics. Uh, you can put more money in your pocket. If you live in my area, give me a call and come in, uh, or come in, and I'll show you how to do it. It's tough to tell you on the phone. Uh, well, let's take a look at yesterday's video. Boom, here we go. <laughs> uh, let's go silver. And <laughs> That's the title. That was my title today, actually. Let's go silver. Uh, uh, because, hey, we're in a good bull market here. It's looking good. Uh, boom, here we go. That was yesterday. Let me read uh, comments here real quickly. And I'd like to thank everybody that uh, uh, liked and subscribed to, uh, you know, hit the like button there and subscribe to my videos here. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank all the people that consistently comment out here and, uh, and watch. I appreciate it. i got a very civil comment crowd. I love it. 
even if people disagree out here, my you know people that uh, comment on my page, um, they're they're so uh, civil. I like it. Unlike a lot of uh, social media, they're they're not calling each other names. It's nice to see that. Um, uh, hey to UK, and uh, I'm not quite sure what that means. So sorry about that. Uh, but nice to see you watching. Thank you, sir or, or ma'am. Uh, Joey from Seattle, uh, watch Monkey Letter Live opening. Bitcoin can only survive in civilized society. Uh, that's true, kind of cool stuff here. Um, happy 246th uh, Marine Corps birthday to uh, fellow Marines. Uh, Semper Fi, Joey. <laughs> I know that saying. I wasn't in the uh, military service, but I, I highly respect my military friends. Uh, AC says, uh, well, as I'm commenting, Silver Spot has leveled off for the last three hours. I expect a retraction of some sort, uh, but this looks promising so far. Uh, yeah, Taylor, uh, yesterday it did kind of, I think they were uh, loading up the ammo and uh, trying to knock those prices down. They don't, they, they're trying to knock this rally down. It's pretty evident uh, yesterday uh, afternoon time when you start to see the uh, uh, prices go down dramatically, especially in silver, not so much in gold. They are trying to knock this rally down. Let's see what happens today and tomorrow uh, if they have any success in, in uh, knocking the rally back. I think they may knock it down a buck or so in silver. I really do, and I think they'll knock gold down pretty good. However, I have a sneaking feeling it's just going to uh, bite them back and, you know, bite them in the ass. It's not going to work. Uh, but let's see what happens again. Oh, it's obviously not going to work, but I, I think it's not going to work. When I say it's not going to work, uh, uh, I mean it's not going to work for long. It's going to be very short. So in the past, when they monkey hammered big time, it's taken months to get back. Uh, even a year. Think about the, uh, we went through a whole year last year of just like shit, all right, sideways, up and down, sideways, up and down with gold. However, uh, I just think, again, uh, there's too much power and momentum behind gold and silver right now. I think it's going to roll right over their efforts to uh, keep it down. Uh, and again, they'll, they'll keep it down for a short period of time, but not for long. I think their efforts to keep it down permanently, or, or not permanently, but for any length of time, are going to be met with a lot of resistance and a lot of failure. Uh, let's move here and see what else is going on. Uh, Euro, U.S. dollar hit the lowest price since 2020. Uh, and funny enough, silver went up a lot, but not to stay over the 25 at first attempt. But we pretty much cleared it today. Uh, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for the comment. And uh, oddly enough, the uh, uh, dollar index was up yesterday, my understanding. I didn't look. Someone told me that. Uh, so I'm presuming the dollar index was up as well. Uh, the breakout is real. It's coming, I believe. And uh, uh, AC, uh, thanks for again watching and commenting. Uh, yeah, we talked yesterday about uh, generation. My, I think my my generation. Uh, I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to say my age here. <laughs> uh, was the last generation to have Orwell. You know, I, when I was in high school, we had to read. Uh, uh, in middle school, we read uh, uh, 1984. We read Animal Farm. We read. Uh, um, uh, God, for some reason, the, the, the flowers were Algernon. I don't even know why. It has nothing to do with <laughs> politics, but. Uh, uh, we read a lot of cool books that uh, are probably being burned in schools today. So uh, it's a shame, too, because, again, what are we doing? We're taking the kids away from this. We're taking the kids away from uh, Constitution. The rights are being stolen. They don't even know better. Uh, in fact, uh, they're being recruited to be part of that, uh, removing our rights and their own rights. They just don't get it, all right? It's kind of weird being young, you know. You don't have experience. Experience, uh, pay, you know, experience is uh, very important in life. Uh, so what's, and I'm not saying all young people, there's some very, very smart, intelligent young people out there, uh, some. Uh, so what's the difference between cryptos and air? Air is real, you can breathe it and sustain life. Cryptos can evaporate in air and become nothing. Don't invest in nothing. Thank you, I appreciate that and I feel the same way. Uh, knife Collector says, I can probably count on one hand the collector coins that I, I'm glad I bought. The rest I should have uh, passed on or bought generic silver or gold. Um, absolutely, Knife Collector, and I appreciate that comment. You know exactly what I was talking about yesterday. Uh, uh, good deal. Good, uh, good comment. Thank you. Uh, oh, nice. I was trying to figure out what you said by nice female assistant. Yeah, my assistant is uh, Siri up here. Look, Siri. See, see her. There it is. So, see, Siri. Go ahead. Oh, she told me. Go ahead. That's my assistant. Thanks for watching. Uh, just about every store in Zero has discussed this high inflation and the fact that the stock market is overbought. Um, this has to translate into higher gold prices. You know, this is why I like ZH. You know, it, it's, yes, there's not, you know, it, it's got all kinds of stuff from left to right, mostly on the right side. Um, and some of it's kind of a bit maybe extreme. Some people would call it extreme. However, it's not a single view narrative, which you get in Wall Street Journal and uh, uh, CNBC and uh, uh, MSNBC and Fox even. You know, all of them, all the corporate media is like that. They tell you this is the truth and everything else is nonsense. All right. 
they all do that. They don't give you multiple viewpoints and say, well, this is a possibility, this is a possibility, this is a possibility, and based on our data and our studies, this is the likelihood. However, what do you think? You know, they, they don't ask us what we think. They're not trying to give us the opportunity to think for ourselves and understand a situation. They're trying to tell us what to think about a situation. They suck. Corporate media sucks. Hey, thanks for watching, Glenn. Uh, John uh, says it's rigged. They can drop the price any time. It's rigged. Paper money does. You think they're going to change their ways? Gambling on banks is what they're going to take. Uh, yeah, they will. They will, John. They're running out of ammunition. Uh, so just relax. <laughs> Believe me. You think it would be as high in the 20s right now if they didn't, you know, if they could keep it down in the teens or they could keep it down in the uh, sub $10 level? This is a war of attrition. This is not an overnight market that you're going to see. Go, although you can see uh, those uh, vertical lines on the graph, overnight markets. But uh, typically, uh, gold and silver is a war of attrition against the dollar fiat uh, uh, credit bubble, uh, which is also an attrition on the people, all right? Uh, as far as buying power. Uh, so gold is uh, responding to that, so is silver, and uh, you know, keep stacking, John. All great except the crypto rant. <laughs> Thanks, Dingbat, I appreciate that. Um, I don't hate, and if you watch the video, and I, it looks like you really watched the video instead of just, because obviously you, you heard my rant, so <laughs> you watched it. Uh, I don't hate cryptos at all, but I do understand what they are, and I understand what my product is. I can put my product in hand, look at it, and just say, wow, this is so cool. This is made by, you know, you know imploding or, or, or colliding neutron stars. You know, billions of years ago, the thing I hold in my hand, it's not replicable by humans or anybody. It's only replicable by, by, by the uh, uh, stars colliding together. I think some was made in a collider one time, but it was like an atom size, and it took billions of dollars to do it, probably, of equipment. Uh, so it's, we're never going to make it. We're never going to make it. Uh, and uh, cryptos are, are just an extension, in my opinion, of the uh, 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 paper fiat. That's all it is. And I know it's only 21 million, uh, but again, I can't wrap my head around 21 million of what? Of what, you know? Uh, you know, at least 21 million pieces of paper, uh, you know, $1 bills, uh, you know, uh, toilet paper is very expensive nowadays. <laughs> you got something. But really, what do you have? You, you, you don't. You don't have anything. Uh, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm, I'm not. I'm, it's digital fiat, in my opinion. Uh, but thanks for watching. And again, I, let's just agree to disagree, and I appreciate you watching. And I don't trash it like I said yesterday. Well, hold on. I don't hate it, I just understand it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click your thingy there. Uh, I just understand it, put it that way. And let me make sure I'm still my newest first and shut that video off. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate that. And uh, Dingbat, and you have a great day and a great weekend. Uh, High Kick says, funny you say crypto is fucked with the big banks participating in What in the world do you think is going on with gold and silver prices? Gold is for the most centralized asset on the planet. It's a banker's asset. For the record, I own both. Anything that will put crypto is an anti-debt unit. If the internet goes out, we all have much bigger problems. Uh, thanks for watching High Kick uh, EXP. Um, listen, you made money on this. I've, I've said consistently that I, I don't hate cryptos. I, and I also have said many, many times that if you can make money in the crypto market, if you understand how that casino works, uh, then, uh, you know, great, man, that's wonderful. It's the exact same thing I've said with gold and silver prices, too. So that's not true. I understand very, very well how, how uh, uh, the markets are very similar in that, they're, you know, COMEX, CME, uh, uh, allows at big short positions to, uh, you know, basically they give them favoritism and allow them to get away with what they do. Uh, and that same thing is, is going to happen and is happening in the crypto market already, all right? And it's a fairly new market. So I understand both markets are exactly uh, uh, manipulated. But what is the big difference between uh, them manipulating the gold market and them manipulating the crypto market? Well, with the gold market, you can escape their system, ask for gold in return, take it with you. The gold, the physical end of it, screws up the fiat plan of it, the fiat part of it. Uh, with cryptos, you have basically zip, nothing. There's nothing you can take out of the system, nothing. Uh, with gold, you can take it out of the system, and they know that, and without gold in the system, they're fucked, all right? With cryptos, you can't take anything out, so 
they're never going to be screwed, all right? They can always screw. <laughs> it's always going to be in there because what is it? What, it does, nothing exists. You can't remove it from the system. Gold you can remove from the system. Uh, I could go on and on, and it's kind of an interesting topic. Uh, you know, maybe one day we'll do a little thing on this high kick. And uh, again, uh, I, we can agree to disagree, and I, I really respect your opinion. And the fact that you made money shows me that you learned how that casino uh, operates, and uh, uh, you know what you're doing in that market, which is cool. But and it sounds like you put some of that money into gold, so <laughs> you're doing a good job. Hey, thanks, High Kick, and please don't take it personally. Uh, Harley Schultz says, truth and silver, I agree. Linda, uh, the government, in my opinion, will steal our 401k. That is one of the big arguments. Uh, you know, People that have been sold that bullshit, you know, oh, you got to buy uh, gold U.S. coins, otherwise you'll, your coins will get confiscated. Anyone that believes confiscation uh, has been shammed, okay? Uh, buyers out there that bought coins because someone told them that they'll be confiscated if they don't have been shammed. You've been screwed by telemarketers, all right? Uh, and, and, and let me explain in a quick way why. Uh, they're never going to confiscate gold, number one, because they don't even understand gold. That This new generation and the generation up there, other than the central bankers, they don't understand gold. You know how they, you know how the government will steal money from you? It's, they'll steal it just like Linda says here, and I've been saying it forever. They don't need to go after your gold. It'll cost them a fortune. What are you going to do? Go get records of people, knock on their doors. <laughs> Ma'am, it's the gold uh, confiscation team. We're here to take your, no. Uh, number one, it would cost them a fortune to go out there and actually take people's gold. A fortune, all right? Number two, I don't care how how the fines are. People will just bury it in their backyard rather than give it back to the government. And number three, um, uh, they don't need to. You know why? Uh, with the stroke of a pen, they, you know, they could steal more money out of 401k plans, retirement plans, out of your, uh, out of your uh, investment portfolio, out of your bank. They could steal more money with a stroke of pen than they could ever confiscate worldwide with gold. <laughs> That's truth. That's true. They don't need to come and steal your gold and confiscate your gold. That's such a bullshit uh, 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 narrative. Uh, it's not even funny. Bullshit telemarketing narrative. They don't need to. All they do, with a stroke of a pen, they can take as much as they want from uh, the stuff that you have in the system. Remember what I was just talking about? What you have, they'll take your cryptos, all right? <laughs> uh, so, or whatever you have in the system. If you have gold in your hand and cash in your hand, how are they going to get that? Uh, so anyways, uh, Stephen... <laughs> Stephen Wimpy, love your head, your highlighting ability. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. James Rocco, don't get too excited. Goldman, JP, City of the Fed, all of them still have lots of naked short contracts to dump. Uh, JPM no longer has uh, any short contracts. They're in the long position, James. They have been quite some time, I think, since 2020. Uh, they've been out of that uh, uh, short position. And uh, I'm not sure who the other commercial banks are. You know, the, the big four to eight is what they, uh, Ted Butler calls them, and the Raptors. I'm not quite sure you know, uh, who they are specifically, but they do exist. And as I said, let's see what happens tomorrow and on Sunday night. Uh, kind of interesting uh, to see what happens. I'm expecting it. As I said, I'm expecting that smack in the back of the head. <laughs> uh, yep, good to see that. Thanks for commenting, uh, RD and uh, Jamie. Uh, yesterday, thought I was going to jinx it. I did too. I don't like to jinx things, but obviously I didn't jinx it because it's up again. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, Robert Kennedy, stop giving people good advice. They're buying all your stuff. Yeah, I know, Robert. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Conrad uh, uh, Lahutko, uh, Lahutko uh, thank you for watching as well. Uh, buy precious metals, and I agree with you. If you understand the crypto market, you understand how the game is rigged, and you, you know you know, you know, know, if such and such, Elon says something, it's going to go up, and then you can get out, and you can make money that way, and you really follow that market. Why the hell not? Uh, but most people don't. Most people just throw money into something and, and don't follow it completely. Uh, I think you can get away with doing that with gold and silver for sure, especially in the long term, but you cannot get away with it in the crypto market, in my opinion. Uh, last living old cowboy. Uh, the New York opening makes me think of a farmer going to the barn and milking the cow. Where are the regulators? Yeah, regulators. That's the CFTC. Uh, the regulators aren't going to do anything because they want to go work for the people that they're supposed to be investigating. So <laughs> make more money, of course. It's America, man. Uh, Mark, hey, what's up, bud? Appreciate you posting. And uh, Rise Gold, yep, gold will make silver go up. And uh, yeah, they're still below last year's high, but uh, we're going to see a breakout here at some point. Oh, that's it. I got to the top, man. Hey, well, I'm going to close it at that. As you know, I'm not going to tell you how I beat Atmex, JM, and SD Bullion because I already told you. And I'm not going to tell you that uh, you need to go find a good local dealer because I told you how important that is to your community and your, your friends and your family and the people that live in your state and your city. Uh, all I'm going to tell you is thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, I appreciate you watching. I really do. 
Thanks again. Have a great day and uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.